Well, the 34th edition of the Africa Cup of Nations begins on Saturday, January 13, and concludes on February 11 in Cote d'Ivoire. Now, Ghana's Black Stars are set to compete on Sunday, January 14, January 13, rather, against Cape Verde at 8 p.m. As a preload to the tournament, City Sports' Yao J. Minta presents a report delving into the Black Stars' challenging 1984 campaign, extracting lessons for the current team and assessing their outlook for the 2023 AFCO. The Black Stars of Ghana are preparing to compete in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire, and the team heads into the tournament under a lot of pressure after recording its worst ever performance in the history of the Continental Championship. Dubbed the debacle of Boaké, Ghana's second worst performance at the AFCON happened in 1984, coincidentally in Côte d'Ivoire, when the former French colony hosted the tournament for the first time. So bad was Ghana's performance that former Ghana president Jerry John Rollins temporarily dissolved the team. Forty years after that episode, Ghana is heading back to Côte d'Ivoire for another AFCON. And perhaps it is apt to go back into time to understand what went wrong. I spoke to three people who lived the experience in 1984. The dribbling magician Mohamed Polo, a 1978 AFCON winner and a member of the team. Striker George Al Hassan, AFCON winner in 1978 and 1982. And also a member of the 1984 group and legendary sports journalist Ken Bediakum. I first asked them to tell me the real story behind the famous assertion that the team was only filled with left footed players. Uh, we had a very, very, you know, a good team, but unfortunately, what happened was the selection. There was, you know, a lot of lefties in the in the team, and uh, you can you can you can uh, select a whole lefties, you know, in 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 the middle. So he used four left footers. In the, in the team, I was only the right footer in the forward line. Kofia Bure played at seven, Upukunti eight, I played nine, Polo ten, Francis Kumi eleven. And this team, it's only that maybe the system did not work. If the system were to be worked, I don't think a club can beat us. For Ken Bediakun, the tactical challenges stem from administrative mishaps that led to a lack of motivation and too many GFA heads appointed over a short period. Well, I would say it's um, multiple sort of uh, mish 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 mishaps that happened to them, both from uh, the administrative point of view and the players themselves. The players, I think, were not uh, motivated enough. They were in low spirits, to be honest with you. Because it's almost some of the players had played as far back as uh, 78, you know, when Kutua Champo had promised to that. But that issue, <laughs> I, 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 I will blame the players too at the time. If, if, okay, it was new. So when they, they, they thought, this was an opportunity for them to have houses in their own their hometowns. At that time, there were a lot of these housing uh, estates at Lansuma. So I think the idea was to give them some of those houses. But people said, no, if it's an opportunity for me to get a house, why don't I put it in my hometown? And that was, you know, that took time because it, you have to get the land size. Blah, 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 blah. And unfortunately, there was a change. Uh, uh, the military headquarters in Kutu Achampong was head of state, and uh, there was this uh, uh, palace school, they changed it. And to be honest, there was nothing on record. I mean, he had said it. So I'm sure that if he were alive or he were around, we would have honored his promise because the houses were there. So from 1981 to 84, we had a five GFH chairman. I mean, you can't. Uh, progress yeah so that is it aside being one of the few right footed players on the team George Al Hassan believes the 1984 group was flawed spiritually thanks when I sit down I think of what we said in 1982 after winning the cup when we went to JJ Rowling's house after the after we won the cup 
So everybody was thinking we'll be giving a gift after winning the cup. But when we went there, he just said there's nothing he can do for us, only salute. So he gave a salute and thanked us. And then we left. Before we left, before we board our bus at the Bema camp, before we board the bus, most of the players were saying, most of them were saying that with because they were not happy about the the word given to them by the head of state, former head of state. They were not happy. So they, they were thinking he would say something to encourage the team, but and and the same people who said share. The same people who went to Cote d'Ivoire. And we wanted to win the cup. How possible? It is not possible. We have already cursed ourselves before going to play. So how would you win the cup? You cannot. On the back of winning the 1983 Cup Champions League title, the 1984 AFCON group was unsurprisingly dominated by Kumasi Asante Kotoko players. This came at a time where the Accra had to folk and Kotoko rivalry was at its peak and deepest. So deep was the rivalry that it seeped through to the Black Stars. The rivalry in the 1984 Black Stars camp was highlighted by the rift between Accra had to folks, Mohamed Polo, and Kotoko Sopokunti, who was nicknamed Takwa Polo. There was a division, seriously. I remember very well. There was, there was a division, you know, and with Haas and Kotoko, you know, issue. You see, these are these divisions have been there for a very long time, and I, you know, this this, this is also a contributing factor. That that is why we, we even uh, you know lost so, so so early, and we couldn't make an impact. That's why it's very very important. If uh, it comes to the national issue, it should be one team. It it should be one gun. It's not about us, Kotoko or whatever. I had a problem with Opokin, Opokunti, and uh, I told Opokin, Opokunti that Opokunti. Despite everything, it is my name that you became you know, popular. You, you, you use my name as Takwa, uh, Takwa Polo. I remember very well. So I said, calm down. In everything, there is always a senior. And because, as I said, the, 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 manage, the, the manager at that time is Kotoko. So he's always you know, by, behind Kotoko players. That's why he has to parade almost Kotoko you know, players, uh, no, I mean, there is nothing we can do. Tactical issues, administrative miscalculations, and disunity in camp picked to the human nature of a wildly talented group that was quite flawed from the start. But the 1984 debacle marked the start of Ghana's title drought. For 40 years, the Black Stars have failed to win a title, despite playing in three AFCON final games in 1992, 2010, and 2015, with each loss more painful than the other and delivered in mysterious circumstances. This has caused many to believe that the Black Stars are cursed, but are they? I sit down and believe that, hmm, Ghana Pa will see a cup and leave it and go home. Oh, there is something. There is something. So, we are human beings and we are... Africans, Africans, we believe in so many things. So I wouldn't say it's because of the case. That's why they couldn't win the camp. Maybe it's the way of doing their things, maybe that's why they couldn't win. I, I am not that superstitious, even though I wouldn't work under Alanda. But um, I think we've grown, we've grown past those spiritual things. We should try and play as serious as they play for their clubs, and I think Ghana will be okay. Believe in exemplary human traits trumps spiritualism. How far will the Black Stars go on its second Afghan trip to Cote d'Ivoire? After after starving, being starved for for um, you just mentioned over forty years, is it a sign? Is it a sign? Is it a good sign that these boys? You know, you can, you can open your chest and say, no, they are, look, look at their performance. You see, on the, on the face, you, know, you, you could see that, no, these are players playing, you know, the big, big, big teams. But when they come together, it doesn't gel. We've already had this uh, Komoro experience. So I think 
uh, the coach should by now know what to do, you know, how to handle the players. The, the time is too short for us to make any changes. I'm sure that you by now realize the mistakes and then can put up a good team. But to win the cup, I'm not too sure about that.